Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the often reissued Little Red Wagon by Dodge. It's a 125 scale Lindbergh kit, model number HL115. Now, this version was released in 2014, but fortunately, this iconic model is continued has continued to be reissued uh, and is always available it seems on online auction and retail sites so you shouldn't have any problem finding one and every uh, every modeler needs to build the little red wagon at least once now the original version goes back to IMC back in 66 and other than decal updates very little has changed in the actual kit now it's a two-in-one kit and you could actually build a stock D100 pickup uh, which is uh, an old pickup style from the 60s. Now I don't know uh, who invented the wheel standing drag race but I do know that uh, it was probably the perfected by Maverick's Little Red Wagon. Um, it's a, a thrills and chills kind of uh, race for the straight line racers and this uh, model does a pretty good job although it is a simplistic design from way back when uh, and with some work, uh, you can make uh, a pretty nice looking display for your uh, shelf. Now the instructions are two-sided and they're a little bit confusing. And the decals are water slide, but uh, they've been updated and they're pretty nice. And now it's an older kit, so the fit and finish is rough. You'll have to do some trimming, some sanding, and some test fitting. And the parts location is not well depicted. Uh, and there are are also some flash issues that you'll need to address. So when you're done though it's a beautiful looking little model and it's seven and a half inches long three inches wide and on its stand it's four inches high. Here are the kits contents and uh, you can see what some people would call the open box review only they would pick up each part and tell you about it uh, but that won't help you build the kit and that's what we're gonna do. So, we want you to remember though, any of the products that you see or hear in the review, um, you should follow the manufacturer's safety and use guidelines. And we'll be using uh, liquid cement for most of the build, uh, sometimes super glue for fragile parts and white glue for glass type uh, of pieces. Here are the decals for this kit. As you can see, they're nice and colorful. The register is very good for uh, uh, an older kit. Uh, but like I said, these have been updated. I strongly suggest, though, that you use some of the uh, aftermarket setting solutions to help the um, decals stick to the body and conform to any contours. As I've mentioned, uh, this is a two-in-one kit, but I'll be only be using the uh, parts for the drag version. And so we're going to start with the engine and uh, bring those uh, drag uh, parts out for the drag engine. So assemble the block, the heads, and the oil pan and paint that black. And the manifold is steel and the headers are chrome silver. The distributor is black. Then add the manifold and the velocity stacks uh, with the caps using some super glue. And add the front cover and distributor and the headers. Get out the uh, suspension parts and the frame. We're going to assemble the chassis. So I'll put together the uh, front leaf springs with the blocks there and add the rear leaf springs to the chassis. And then assemble the rear axle and the motor frame and paint these two units black uh, and the front axle silver. Now install the front axle, add the engine to the engine frame and assemble the chassis and frame. Now we're going to uh, grab the uh, floor pan location and then uh, we're going to cut out the uh, location for the engine for the drag truck um, as the weight was distributed a little differently so they could get a good wheel stand. Now we're going to add that uh, front panel which isn't shown um, and now we're going to assemble the uh, roll cage to the uh, floor pan then remove the uh, script work there you see in the circle and assemble the roll cage to the floor pan and remove the script uh, with the blade and some sandpaper and assemble the chair into position. Now paint the floor assembly in the belt uh, black and then the uh, seat is red and add the seat into place and the pedal into place too. Locate these pieces for the uh, dashboard. Now the dash is red and then uh, after the column support and toggle panel is attached um, you can you know make sure that that's uh, pieced together and then install the chrome panels and the highlight 
uh, and then highlight the knobs on the dash with some silver paint uh, to give it some definition. Uh, and back then most of the knobs were chromed. So find these pieces in the kit and we're going to prepare the first parts of the body for attachment to the main body. Now install the interior panels that have the hinges then add the rear panel to the back of the uh, truck's lower panel and remove all the supports you see here that were marked uh, from the body. Now cut the panel out for that front panel we talked about earlier and uh, that, that uh, is going to accommodate the motor and install the tail light buckets. Grab these uh, door pieces and uh, panels with the hinges and we're going to prep the doors to install those with the hinges so add the hinge to the top of the door location and install the door then add the lower hinge and install that add the door panel and note um, the doors don't fit with the hinges the only way to fit the doors is to uh, cut the hinges and glue the doors shut and this is a design flaw and I've looked it up and built this core but uh, car before but it's always been this way for some reason so uh, it's up to you but uh, I don't think you're going to get a good build uh, without removing the hinges Next, uh, we're going to uh, assemble the tailgate and install that in the open position with the braces to uh, hold it up. We've reached a point where we need to start prepping the body for paint and you'll need to go over the body uh, and look for any imperfections, mold lines, uh, parting lines, uh, any blemishes that need to be fixed. And then give the um, overall body uh, inside and out a good coat of primer and uh, once that's done, uh, give it a nice wet sand uh, to smooth it out and then let that air dry. Once the body has dried, give it a nice coat, uh, uh, light tack coats of some um, medium red paint. And then uh, once uh, you've got a couple of good tack coats on there, give it a couple of good wet coats and give a good color coverage to the entire body inside and out. When that's uh, dry, you can go ahead and start uh, adding your decals. I always put the largest ones on first, and uh, I use uh, some setting solution for the larger ones to make sure that they settle into any door panel lines or crevices, etc. Well, work your way around pl using plenty of warm water. Uh, make sure that you position the mo uh, model's decals where you want them, and then um, use a soft cloth to smooth out any air bubbles or water trapped underneath them and then use a little bit of that uh, setting solution to uh, permanently s put them into place. Let the um, decals dry at least overnight and then uh, give it an overall coat of clear to seal them into position. Get the window glass out of the kit and the dash uh, that we've worked uh, with before there. And note that the window glass is kind of an optional build for uh, a real one-to-one -one replica as uh, some of the uh, early ones had windows and uh, didn't have windows and some did so uh, you'll see in various stages that uh, it either did or didn't have windows and so that's going to be up to you and some decals will come into play there as well uh, but go ahead and remove the column stalks on the steering column and paint the wheel in the column red and then install the column and then the floor and the chassis are assembled with some super glue and that assembly can be installed into the body at an angle and then carefully shoehorned into place until it's flush all around the body. Assemble the uh, halves of the fuel cell and install that behind the engine on the bed there. And then assemble the auxiliary tank and paint it silver and install that. And then the, uh, the parachute pack there is black and uh, glued to the tailgate. We'll find these uh, chrome parts uh, in the kit there and then the headlights and the covers are installed with the grill and the door handles are added uh, at the same time. Gather up these parts for the wheel assemblies and the rear wheels are slicks and the uh, fronts are some thins uh, so we'll use some 220 type uh, sandpaper and press and roll the tires on, uh, on the paper on a flat surface to give them a, a used worn look and then install the rim fronts and on the rears add the rim backs and on the fronts paint the rim backs silver and add those and the brakes and the locking hub are painted black and they'll end up being glued into the tire as shown. Get out the uh, front spindles and the tie rod as you see here and then the tie rods uh, and the spindles are painted black and installed. Then add the, the uh, brake and the hub lock 
to the axle pins on each axle and install a tire onto each brake and super glue that into place. Well with the uh, tires put into place we are now um, finished with the main construction of the vehicle itself. Now the kit uh, as we mentioned has a display stand to show the uh, drag version in a wheel stand. So I painted mine silver, assembled it and uh, that will prop up the front end. Well, uh, Either way you build this, you're probably going to have some extra parts left over and there's actually quite a few uh, that uh, would belong to the stock build. So uh, this is what I had left over. Well, there you have it. With a shiny red coat of paint and those standout looking uh, decals and mag wheels, this is a real, uh, real head turner on your shelf. And you know, it's an older kit and uh, the design and fit and finish is not great. Uh, of course, there's the big issue with the door hinges. Um, that would take some pretty uh, impressive rework. And if you've got any um, uh, ideas on that, let us know. But uh, even so, when you put this together, she looks great. And uh, it's an iconic kit. It's been around for years and years, and it's still around, which attests to its popularity because it's still selling. And if I were you, I'd buy one and put it on my shelf. We hope you like this premium step-by-step -step model kit review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can find us on Facebook and at our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.